Yes, for Red Bull, we have played already 15 games in our league, and uh, we are halfway. Done it uh, decent so far, I would say. For our players, it's uh, massive games to play against Premiership teams of this level. Uh, with the, both teams had great season the last ones, and for our fans, in a way, to see the best of the Premiership. So this is perfect game for us. We have the next league game at the end of July. So. Excellent games and a lot of experience for our players. Well, same here. Delighted to be here. Um, be a part of the tournament. Uh, speaking with the guys in the dressing room, they're all happy to play against Man City, Tottenham, and Sporting. Uh, our fans, I'm sure, are going to be delighted to see the guys in the, in the stadium. Uh, as the uh, RS said, the stadium is amazing. Hopefully, all the teams are going to enjoy it and uh, we can uh, have all a good tournament. And, and uh, show, show some great people. For Arsenal player, sorry, I know you're going to get sick of this. <laughs> um, how big a deal is it, is it playing uh, against the uh, top for you? And could you go through some of your most memorable games? Well, I think I, I'm going to stick to the, the, the fact of obviously playing Tottenham is kind of always a spe special thing. For, for a guy who played for Arsenal, but you know, after I'm not going to, to be here and say and talk about what I've done with Arsenal against Tottenham, I think we're all here to have a, a great game of football. Obviously, it's going to be a special one for me. Uh, what a script uh, to come here and have my first game against uh, against Tottenham. Uh, I'm actually like like the Tottenham team. I'm, I'm having a preseason. Uh, it's kind of difficult joining the team uh, in, in season. Um, I had four, four training sessions so far with, uh, with the squad and I'm trying to get back into shape and, uh, and see uh, what I can do tomorrow with, uh, with my team against uh, uh, a great open team. I mean, what they did last season was, uh, was remarkable. Um, then, as you said, you know, it's always going to be something with uh, an ex or small player and, uh, and Tottenham, but uh, that is it. Hi, Thierry. Uh, can you just talk about how, how training has been going this week and uh, how how close to being 100% fit do you feel you are? And are you going to play third day, second day? I think Coach said the other day you were going to play 45 minutes, but which one? Well, the training session has been like like any pre-season sessions. You know, I'm trying to get back into shape. I didn't do a lot for the past two, three weeks. So, uh, as you can imagine, for me, it was the end of the season. Um, I'm trying to work out. Uh, I only had like four, four training sessions, so uh, I'm not like 100%, as you can imagine. But uh, I'm trying to, to work out and, uh, and to be as sick as I can, as quick as possible. You know? So uh, we're going to have to speak with the boss and see. Uh, uh, I'm sure we're going to be maybe involved tomorrow. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, and then the, 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 the game after against, against Man City. But uh, it's like uh, early doors for me. So, um, do you want to play him more in the second game? Like, will it be like more than 45 or 60? I don't think we will force it like that. So, a maximum 45 minutes. What, how, how would you describe his match fitness right now? I think it, it's difficult to say if we're going to play his game. So, in terms of the training sessions, I'm uh, games, but I can just yes, yes. I think it's, it's not far away. So, I think you need to use the game. Uh, Yeah. 
so, yeah, my feeling is that he's a great start. He has to show it on the pitch. So the result, the actual player he is, will bring us up definitely in our media It might have been a little different. The results. I don't know the other names that have been here, but he's still uh, a very competitive player. He's a very competitive player, on real. So I mean, that's the priority for him. It's to, to play football, and, and when we aim for it, of course, he will have outside too. Yeah, the impact for new player, but it's still probably. I don't know if I'm right, but it is. It is not the number one in the US. If you look at the numbers of new players. So, yeah, it's nice. We talked about Henri and, and you know him playing against Tottenham and other words, but I mean, you actually coached at Man City, so I mean, how, how is this for you to, to see them again? Yeah, it's nice. I still think I met two of the press ladies, so not everyone, everyone is sacked from that club. But really, <laughs> still, still some people left, and they're both Vicky and her partner from the press office. And I haven't seen the roster, but I think at least six or so seven players still in this club, so it would be nice to say hello to them. No, I'm coming with the team. Sorry? Sorry. I'm coming with uh, going by the zone to Columbus. What does that tell you about him? Why didn't you even have a team? That tells a lot because that was his own. I have to say, he wanted to, to be in the team, around the team, in the locker room. Just try to help as much as possible and take that travel to Columbus. Even to have a look at the game. How, how, how has he been assimilating and how has he been you know, getting along? Because obviously that's a difficult thing and I'm sure I'm sure some of the, some of the guys in the room are probably like you know somewhat in awe. But how, how does he go how's he going about getting along? Excellent because he's such a, such a humble guy and I could see already now every session in a way he talks to three, four players about details in our attacking game, defending game doing extra work by himself with the fitness coach after every session he has to get in shape. So he really shows in a way a character that will help all his teammates in the 